Alright guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I've actually... I, I've been enjoying this game. I played about an hour off camera. Originally I was just trying to get enough power to progress to the next part of the mission. I ended up exploring. Uh, this was like my first little dungeon, dungeon I did. Uh, but there's a... like this area is massive. And I mean there's a lot to do, a lot of side quests. I did just some rifts uh, i set up some camps so i can like travel to them i believe yeah but i set up some camps i did that little dungeon over there i did that one i picked up some of these shards i kind of just explored and i mean it's super fun uh but the next place we're actually going to be going is back to haven i believe i believe that's our next uh objective is to we'll go back to Haven and then travel to somewhere different. But I I've enjoying this game more than I thought I would. Uh, for sure, I like I an hour or an hour and a half or so I was just playing off camera and I went by like it was nothing. Which sometimes when I play games off camera it feels like I'm playing them forever, and this seems like one of the games like I, like I can see myself dumping hours into this game hundreds of hours i i'm actually starting to like the world a lot too just talking to npcs looking at different things around it just the way it's designed is really nice um overall i just i think they did a good job with this game and i mean that's not really a surprise a lot of people have said that this is one of their favorite games ever And I can see why. The world's awesome. I haven't, I've never played uh, the other Dragon, well I played Dragon Age Origins? Something like that I think it was. Uh, I played a little bit of that and that was pretty fun. But your I don't remember if that's holy. what it was called. Lies, your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate. Enough! Knight Captain. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. I'm enjoying this story, too. Sometimes RPGs, their story doesn't fit with me, but I like their systems a lot. And this is one of the games where I'm like, I'm actually enjoying the RPG stories and what it has to say. I have a lot more RPGs planned also for the channel, but those are a little while down the line. I might tell you in this episode just what I have planned for, for like my next four or five. Take time and bring in the Inquisition resource. Okay, so I can like send people out. How would I do that? So like say I want to do an operation here. Uh, select. Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. Uh, wishes to convey our deepest sympathies of the death of the divine Justina V, the most holy, was incomparable in her wisdom and dedication to peace. And we had, okay, so we need to like send someone. We have number that we could send an honor. I know when I knew Justina, I can't attend, but I could write to him. Um, let's, let's have her just write them. Let's see what we have. Okay, so real quick though, before we actually get started on the next area, which is over here, I believe. Yeah, um, real quick though, I'm gonna tell you guys the next four games I have planned for this channel, okay? In order. So... 
Next, of course, is God of War and Kingdom Hearts 2. I already told you guys a little bit about those in our Far Cry playthrough. And then Batman Arkham Knight and Resident Evil 3. Those are our next four playthroughs. Uh, Arkham Knight, Resident Evil 3, and God of War can all be completed in about 20 hours or so. Well, Resident Evil 3 is like less than 10. Cage 2 will take about 30. And then I have a few more that are lined up. Well, I have a lot more lined up for after those. Um, four to seven, yeah, we're a good level. Let's Having do it. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. I'm not worried. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Um, attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed. And at this moment, we cannot step foot into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to permit us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Andestrite. Is not the monster they believe. Confirm. So, uh, I, I think I said this last episode, but the way we're going to do this is uh, one video seven days a week until we're done with the game. Uh, which I know is a little slower than my other series. Those are two videos a week, or two videos a day, five days a week. But it'll be about the same a week, three videos shorter. So, this game should take us about four weeks or so, if not a little more. I might double upload on some weekends as well. It depends on how much I'm filming this game. Right now, I'm filming a lot of Far Cry, trying to get that done as quick as possible so you guys can see it as quick as possible. Um, and then God of War, of course, will be our next game. But I'm trying to record more of this. the best I can the city still mourns <laughs> just a guess seeker but I think they all know who we are your skills of observation never failed to impress me Varric I've changed uh my lord Harold his gun from Bianca You're one to, of uh, two blades. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. This is cool. This is a completely different vibe from the other area. Someone will need to inform them if we are As you say, my lady. This is so cool. This is such a different vibe from the rest of the from the other area. Stand wary, guards. Good people of Val Royal. Hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The maker would say no dwarf in our hour of need. You say I am the 
enemy. The breach in the sky is our true enemy. We must unite to stop it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition, and the people will be safe once more. Dumbass. Still yourself. She is beneath us. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. What we truly need is an alliance that will seal the breach. Oh, the breach is indeed a threat. But you certainly have no power to do anything about it. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Um... Fortunately, the Templars aren't our only hope. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. That's all we needed to come here for? Okay. Let's go back to Haven. We traveled all the way there for three minutes of dialogue. If I might have a moment of your time. Yes, elf. That's cool. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Um. And what do you want in exchange for the Mage's help? Oh, I haven't promised the Inquisition our help yet. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. Oh, I know an where that is. could help us both, after all. That's where we just I were earlier. I to see you there. Au revoir, well, I was Lord there. Herald. Almost there. Come, let us return to Haven. I like the storytelling. I like, I like the story and the world itself more than I like the actual combat. I think the combat's very plain and kind of boring but i like the story in the world the combat the problem with it is it's just me holding our uh the trigger and hitting square triangle that's all it is which i mean would be fine but like it just it doesn't feel good in any way 
But then again, I mean, what do you expect? Shooters is just shoot, throw grenade, shoot. You know what I mean? So I can't really be mad ab about it. Some of the best melee combat I've ever seen, though, is Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, actually, uh, let me check something. There's a crafting thing up here. I, cause I bought some shit and I don't know how to use it. Um, Master Harry said that without. That's. I don't think that's what I meant to do. That is what I meant to do. I don't. I. I'm still very confused on how a lot of these system works, and the game doesn't really tell me how to use said systems. So, apothe apothecary. I need to go down to the blacksmith. That's where I want to go. So that's the problem. There's just there's multiple places to craft stuff at. Actually, do you have a new weapon for me? I really want a new weapon. You don't have anything that's good. We don't have anything to sell either because I sold everything already. Oh, he's outside the wall. Why did you put the blacksmith outside of the wall? I feel like that's not safe. You know, blacksmith is very much needed, and he's outside of the wall. If the Inquisition wants to field a decent cavalry, it needs. Um. Okay, so I can modify armor. I can craft armor as well. Should we craft that? I think we should. I why didn't I read that? Melee defense. Let's do melee defense. Okay. Can I craft weapons as well? I can buy and sell. And these are accessories that do what? Oh, okay, so you can respec abilities. Modify armor. Okay, so this is how I do it. So if I, if I go over to Bianca, I have... Um, Oh, they're already all equipped on her. Oh. So then that weapon's just that bad. Modify armor. Craft weapons. I can craft a hunting bow. That's it. You need something? Okay. I was just trying to see how that system kind of worked. And I actually don't think that is a bad system. Oh no, this is what I made, right? No, that's what I made. I don't know what I made. Upgrades. Oh! Oh, this upgrade can only be attached to heavy armors. So what I do now is I go to modify armor. And since this will actually be the one we use uh, very soon, we'll just do that. Confirm changes. Right. Because we're going to be using that armor here pretty shortly. So. Okay. Okay, I understand how this works now. All right. This is... I, I'm... Oh, and she's ready to report in, so we'll get a reward. Okay, I'm starting to understand how this game works a little more, which actually is starting to make me like the game a little more. That crafting system and that modification system is some of the best I've ever seen, honestly, for a game, just from that little bit I looked at. 
I actually enjoy that it's not in a menu. So that that I, I do like that system. I'm gonna of course expand on it in the future to try it out more. We're still very much in the prologue of the game. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses as well as the capital. Going was worth the We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere. But to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You'd think the Mage Rebellion is more united. It could be ten times worse. I agree that we should I could meet at least the mages. Find out what the mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. I, I they think are they powerful, are. Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. So it'll be dangerous. I've been in danger since I walked out of the Fade. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. Okay. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Grey Wardens? I'm not familiar with them. They're an ancient order that has existed to fight Darkspawn invasions since the First Blight thousands of years ago. They have faded since those glory days, but haven't disappeared entirely. Ordinarily, their order is neutral in political affairs, but they appear in strange places. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Okay. Interesting. That's a side quest. Um. Okay, so we leveled up our Inquisition level. Alright, um. Let's see. So... We need more power to do them anyway, so I think we'll do this for now, and then off camera I'll get more power and whatnot. So let's head in here. Plus that lady finished the operation, so I can see what kind of uh, rewards I can see I can get from it. Um, special training from the... What have your ears heard, Meliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Let's do that. Tales of fame for their ability increases inventory capacity, adds one more potion slot. 
Opens up new dialogue options related to history in the chamber. It gives an additional plus 50% XP. That's actually not bad. Uh, 50%. Inquisition 10 will pay the Inquisition 10 times more for items sold to them. 10% discount. Petition to purchase a ship of rare and valuable raw materials for crafting. That might actually be really good, to be honest. Opens up new dialogue. Uh, the Fade or Arcane Studies grants plus 50 XP experience. Grants a 10% chance to receive extra urge from each plant. Grants a significant increase to the discovery range of searching action. Gain a collection tier. Uh, criminal act. Open up new dialogue about related to criminal activities and grants plus 50% XP. Grants 5% increase. That might be super good, just to have more XP, period. This actually seems like it's really good to go down, to be honest. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just cause that's that's really good to be honest. Um, okay. So reward received. We got a long sword. Okay. Um Just sort of against chaos, reason in darkness. If you stand by this, come forth and drive the heretics from my lands. They claim to be refugees, but I have seen elves and apostates. Apostates among them, filthy savages, tearing at our roots. Our monarch refuses to send forth armies of my own knights for decline. Okay, we could send a few patrols, but I would prefer they help the refugees, not the slord. We could take advantage of his raving, my spice harass the refugees, and moving somewhere else to more. I guess we're going to pray. Uh, even among his peers, let us send a polite refusal and nothing more. Let's uh, send her again. Let's see what we have. When his uh, favor. So we need to go to Red Cliff, which is uh, here, I believe. Scout the Storm Coast. Let's do that. Just scout it. We won't travel to it just yet. Uh, not now. I just want to get it scouted. Anywhere else that we can scout right now? Gather coin. But till now, Inquisition forces have the benefit of the Chantry's deep offers. Now the Inquisition forces seek out its own. So we can actually send out all three of them. Your soldiers let them protect caravans, do other honest work for coin, trading in favors of merchants, nobility is my specialty. Let's do that. Um, the cult. Alright, so there's a cult. We can. I'm leery of what we might find in these passages, but we have enough soldiers for a search. They will simply need to be. Let's right. do that. Send all of them out. Uh, and then. Okay, so Red Cliff is here, I believe. Uh, fast travel. I still only have them. Yeah, Red Cliff is here, though, I believe. So we'll explore a little bit. I want to do that storm. I don't know if we'll do that entire quest line where we're looking for that guy, but I at least want to go to that area and visit it, visit it see what it's like. Because I, I just, I kind of want to get a feel for the environments in this game. So we have snow, we have uh, this forest area, we have that big city. I want to see what that Storm Coast uh, area was. I'm excited. I haven't played in, I haven't like actually got into an RPG in a while. And the last one I really got into, got into, was like Kingdom Hearts 1. Or maybe Final Fantasy 7 Remake. But I haven't really been, I haven't played m many uh, RPGs in a little while. Alright. Um, oh wait, our homeboy's leveled up. Um, 
So I did have him using that, but now I have him using double daggers. Let's do that one. Apply. Um. She's still using just sword and shield. Shammer restore ten percent for every ten percent I've lost. Uh, you, you can't be flanked by enemies, and you're less like that's actually really good. Cancel. And then I want him to actually use fire. Inferno. Because, dude, I'm not kidding. Like, fire is super OP. Like, it really is. <laughs> okay. So, let me see if I was correct. Yep. I was. Um. So, we can't actually fast travel anywhere near it except for, like, right there. Alright. Right there's closer than nothing, you know what I mean? I'm 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 starting to like this game though. The more it's starting to open up, I might do side quests too off camera, like that Storm Coast area. I might do that side quest off camera if I choose to. So understand that I not everything I play will be done on the channel. Uh, some things will be off camera, certain side quests or that Storm Coast area. I'll probably do off camera just because I want to check it out. But uh, so don't necessarily expect everything to be on the channel for this game all side quests and everything like that i'm gonna kind of just go at my own pace with this game and explore and all that uh eventually too i might cut this cut these videos differently to fit in uh more missions you know like just skip me walking places i'm not sure though because i do like having that in my gameplay like, you guys just watching me actually explore the world and get to different locations. The only problem I would say I have with this game, like, mainly, mainly, is the tra traversal is horrible, dude. The map is so bad. I think I said that last episode, but this map does not work at all. I need to be able to see where actual paths are. You know what I mean? The way this map works is not great. Because it's so hard for me to figure out where I actually need to go. But yeah, so don't expect everything to be on the channel. Uh, I'm, de I'm definitely going to do main story stuff on the channel no matter what. But side content and like if I just feel like I'm going to explore for a little bit, that might all be off camera. Uh, I might eventually stream the game too and have that be a part. I'm not sure about that though. I do have stuff I want to stream. Uh, streaming's just tough because you have to, you have to make the time for like a few hours at least. You know what I mean? You can't just stream for like 30 minutes an hour. You have to stream for a few. And that's what's tough about streaming. It's just finding a time where you can sit down non-stop for three hours. I can do that sometimes, but I don't know. Streaming's just. A whole different ballpark. I like that little windmill building over there. That's cool. It's not little. It's fucking massive, but still. Red Cliff Village should be right up ahead. I'm excited though to like get deep thing. into this story. Oh shit, I walked right into it too. I saw him fall, and I still walked right into it. I gotta get loot.
I can almost close it. The cool thing about this game too is like you're kind of not locked to only one playstyle, you know what I mean? Because you could just switch characters. So like, hey, I want to play as a rogue now. I can just play as this guy, you know what I mean? So it's very cool. And the cool thing too is like you don't have to only control them in combat. I can control them when I'm just walking around. The leveling system is a bit weird though. We all, we all level we up at different know rates. What these can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Uh we need to find out what caused whatever this is. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. Enter Red Club. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former uh. Grand Enchanter in the meantime. This game's getting really fucking fun. <laughs> I want to start. I need to start platinum in games faster. I'm taking so. I'm like taking so long to platinum games. I don't know. I like. I don't feel like I need to rush myself on platinum in games, but I feel like I do need to get them done a little faster. I feel like I'm getting them done really slowly. I could. I I put like maybe an hour into the game a day when I try to platinum them sometimes. So I can I can get into it a little more. I, I can. I will. I'll start getting platinums done a little faster on the channel than off camera. I just cause there's so many platinums I want to do. I might as well start getting through them a little faster. I take my time. Like, I'm still doing Assassin's Creed Rogue as I'm filming this, but, uh, I'm almost done with it, thank god. It's just... It's just when a Platinum starts to get tedious to the point of where there's no new content and things like that, and it's just me going back and forth nonstop, that's when I start taking forever to do Platinums. When it's just no new content, that's actually fun. It's just tedious stuff. That's why some Platinums, they get done really fast, because they're really good and they have a lot to do, but... Sometimes I get them done really slow because in the case of almost every AC game I've platinum, they end up getting tedious towards the end. Because I don't mind playing a game for four hours a day. You know what I mean? People say that they, gaming over two hours a day is bad, but it's like, whatever, dog. I can play more, too. You know what I mean? I, I have quite a bit of free time during the day. I, there's maybe four or five hours in the morning time ish where i can't do anything because i'm doing school and other stuff but Welcome other than that i can i have so much time what has brought you to redcliffe you invited me here is that your question drop the egg we're here because of your invitation back in val Royo. you must be mistaken I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. There is no mistake. While the Templars were leaving, you came to Val Royale and asked me here. The Templars left Val Royale? Where did they go? That sounds... Why does that sound so strange? Whoever or whatever brought you here, the situation has changed. The Free Mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinta Imperium. An alliance with Tevinta? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? Andras Dezas. I'm trying to think of a single worse thing you could have done, and I've got nothing. I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Tevinta. As one indenture to a Magister, 
I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. An alliance with Javinter is a terrible mistake. All hope of peace died with Justinia. This bargain with Tevinta would not have been my first choice, but we had no choice. We are losing this war. I needed to save as many of my people as I could. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command, and you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. If you're leading the mages now, then let's talk. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. It is always a pleasure to meet a reasonable man. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. I'll take every mage you can give me. There will have to be. My lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Okay. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Ooh, very mysterious. There's no telling who or what will be waiting for us in that Chantry. There's only one way to find out. All right, let's meet him at the Chantry. Ch Chantry? Chantry. Ch Chan... Yeah. English is not a good language. <laughs> I think, too, I think I want to start maybe, like, doing a shit ton of uploads just in, like, the span of, like, less than a week. And just... So that way, because I feel like the route we are going right now, it's going to take us, like, years to finish all the games I want to play on the channel. Granted, I could, I, I have picked a few every now and again that I just am going to play off camera. Because, I mean, there's just some games where it's like, if I don't film it, I'm definitely going to regret it in the future. You know what I mean? So I try to at least film those games. Like, this is one of those. Like, because if I play through it once, yeah, I'm not going to play through it again for a while, you know what I mean? And I know I'll end up regretting not filming the game. Because I, I like making videos. I don't make them for the views and shit. I make them because I enjoy producing the content. Plus... I, I watch my own videos. I've gone back and I've watched some of my old Let's Plays a few times now. And I, I enjoy my own content. I really do. I think that's the best feeling, too, with making these videos. It's just you enjoy what you've done. You enjoy what you've created. Granted, I haven't done any crazy videos with the shit to my editing, but I still like working on my own Let's Plays. Good. You're finally here. Now help me close this, would you? Who's that guy?
What a race. Also, I... Whenever The Witcher 3's uh, next-gen version comes out, I'm gonna play it. It's just, we have no word on when it's coming out at this point. And then, of course, I, I am going to be playing the GTA Trilogy Remaster when that comes out. It's just we have, like, almost no word on any of it. So when both those come out, I'm playing those day one. Well, yeah, most likely day one for both of them. Witcher, next-gen version, day one, no matter what, because it's a free upgrade. How does that work, exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Another Tevinta. Be cautious with this one. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable. As I'm sure you can imagine. Are you the one who sent that note then? I am. Someone had to warn you after all. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died? You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. I'd like more proof than magical time control. Go with it. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No. But I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult. It's a Vinta Supremacist. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Do you have any suggestions? You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here. And I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. I like that guy. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. He seems like a cool guy, Dorian. Seems like a cool character. Okay, so I have to get a bunch of power. Which is actually perfect timing for me to end this video. Um, let me just do our character thing real quick. So you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So right now we're using a great sword. Oh, I don't think these matter. Yeah, these don't matter. <laughs> uh, shield breaker. What is this one? Learned how to batter through enemies. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. So these uh, these circle ones are passive, and then these square ones are like actual abilities. Not bad. Um, that is where we're going to end the episode, though. Uh, next episode, we'll, we'll have a little more done. I'm going to uh, get our power up by doing... Whatever I can, probably some side quest. I might go and do that Storm Coast thing, and that's how I'll get our power up. Uh, 
if I do do that, I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes. I might even start the video there so you guys can kind of see some of the environment there. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to play on the channel, let me know. Uh, and yeah, with that said, I hope you guys stay safe out there and peace out.